people do not work with teenagers. They read what goes on in the news and they think all teenagers are bad. They just think you're a horrible, rotten, uh, you're partying, you're doing all these negative things. Um, they don't live in the world that I do, that I see all the positive and great things and growth that, that teenagers have. And they're talking to each other. I've, my community members are asking the students, you know, how is school going? And, you know, okay, I'm sorry you had a rough day. I'm sorry you didn't do well in that test. You're going to get them the next time. You know, you, you can do this. And that encouragement goes both ways. I've seen the community members making homemade bread and hats for students that work at the Tiger Food Pantry. And some of my kids are teens that work here. They don't have grandparents. They don't have that family connection. And guess what? They have it now. That's a huge perspective. Those, those connections are huge. So th those are just some of the things that I've seen. Our food pantry, we have um, not just snacks, but we have things for breakfast, lunch, dinners. Uh, we have cleaning products. We have personal care items. Uh, so for an example, uh, students, they forget to put deodorant on. And whether they have phys ed or not, they can just come into the food pantry. And we have a bucket there with brand new deodorants, and they can take one and go. Um, or if their household is running low on um, shampoo and conditioner and it's going to be a, a length of time till the next payday for parents they can come in and get the shampoo conditioner and body wash off the shelf and take it home what made me want to be a part of this pantry is that I just like helping people and I did it during the summer one year and it's just like it got rid of like the tiny like feeling that I wasn't doing enough so that's actually kind of why I joined it. <laughs> I've been a part of it since the summer of 2021, I think. Um, and I've been like in it off and on due to not actually being in high school during that time. But yeah, I think it's contributed to a large part of my life. I mean, I spend hours upon hours in it and I like, just helping people, so it's contributed to that, I guess. All right. Okay. No, and I'll just stand on it. Yeah, she's all leaving out to the door almost. No, I need you out front. Okay. I need you up in here. I've got plenty of people on the clothes. Right. Right. I like working with all the other students, and I like working with Rayanne. We have a good time. And Mark, the delivery guy. It's made me realize that there is a huge need for more food, that people don't have enough money to buy the things they need. Even when they were given extra money during COVID, there still wasn't enough food for people. And we have a lot of students come to school and they're hungry. So we also have, a, because of the food bank, we have a large amount of snacks that we can distribute to students. I would say that the food pantry is giving me a new perspective on the community. It's I've grown more attached to people, I've actually gotten to talk to them, I've seen how tightly knitted our community really is and how it, even from like generation to generation, it's still tightly wound together. The pantries run well, the amount of the people working here are nice, it's a great time all around and it's nice to be able to help people that need it. So one of the lessons that I've, I've learned is that um, our community, I kind of knew this in my heart, but it really, it shows with what goes on here. Uh, the donations that come in from our community are huge, uh, whether it's monetary or food drives. Uh, the, the public library is doing a monthly food drive for us. Uh, the Gardner Rotarians have done food drives uh, to help us. Uh, local organizations and towns have donated funds to help us keep running. Um, so that, that's been huge. They see, they see the need in the community and they are willing to help with that outreach, which is amazing.
The most stressful thing about the Tiger Pantry is most likely uh, bringing in all the new food while there are people waiting, you know, every, you know, seeing those people waiting just to get food and we don't have anything set up on the tables. We know we'll get it done, but it's still, we feel like we need to hurry. This story doesn't pertain to me, but a couple uh, of the people who came here made hand-knitted hats for a couple members of the food pantry and they've brought in bread and other such items and just recently they uh, uh, commented on my recent haircut which I thought was nice. I feel like if the Tiger Food Pantry didn't exist a lot more people would not get the food they need to provide for their families uh, students wouldn't have, some students wouldn't have as much connection with other students, you know. Miss DeSoto would be bored out of her mind, and mostly I feel like it would just be a missed opportunity for the entire community of Gardner. I've always known that food insecurity exists in, um, in the Gardner area. Uh, years ago, I used to keep a bin behind my desk filled with food and, and extra clothing for students. Um, something that I see now is um, a set a, a sense of um, safety and security for both students and community members. Um, it's never easy to ask for help, and I'm the worst one of all to ask for help. I'm, I'm like the most stubborn, um, but there are times that that circumstances happen um, either for students or community members and this gives them a safe place to come where confidentiality is kept um, they're able to come in and take care of their families um, we have high school students who feed their siblings every evening um, due to certain circumstances so they're able to come in and get food to feed feed their siblings and feel safe about that um, it's also given uh, a place for students to work and earn community service. Um, I, I always tell them the hardest part is working for me, but I think they have formed um, their own community here, um, their own family here um, as part of the staff. And it's really neat to see this eclectic group of students working together, having fun, um, gaining skills to help out in the job market when they graduate. Um, interacting with the community um, and, and that to me has been more so um, than the food and the clothing that goes out like just making those connections that they know that they're cared about